live in the Hickory Hut studio on the campus of Defiance College, this is the session with Eminem and Ryan. Hello, D.C. students, faculty, staff, and whoever may be watching, this is the session with Eminem and Ryan. Woo -woo! Today we have two very, very special guests. We have Tracy and Sally from Career Services. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. So if you guys have ever been in the Pilgrim Library. Which you probably should be. Yes. I've been there. study on. <laughs> you've probably seen their offices. Uh, what did you refer to it as? A we're, glass we like cage? The, we look like we're in glass cages, yep. kind of. You can see oh, them right yeah, the, the Pilgrim Zoo yeah. is what that <laughs> yes. is. Yeah. <laughs> so in the back corner, that's where they are. Mm -hmm. You want to tell us a little bit about what goes on in those offices? I don't know if we dare. <laughs> <laughs> I think you right probably in, should. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and now you'll see a businesswoman eating a lunch. Yes, <laughs> that's for sure. Go away! Yes. <laughs> right. yes. Well, I really what we want to talk about today is our senior success seminar that's coming up. And it's scheduled for November, oh goodness, October, be October. October 31st, sorry. That's okay. October Halloween. 31st, Halloween. yes, Halloween. Do not wear your costumes to this event. Mm -hmm. um, no. From 11 to 1, and we will be in the Sarek, um Center Hubbard Banquet Room. And we are so fortunate to have multiple alumni uh, uh, joining us that day. Yeah, quite a few. I was surprised. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I know you guys always. How many? We if have you were prepared, one, you would two, probably three, know. Four, five, like seven? Nice. Around seven alumni? Seven. seven. About seven alumni, mm -hmm. and we do have one employer uh, from uh, Sutter Woodworking that's coming in to talk about interviewing tips and tricks. Um, she's the uh, employer coordinator at Sutter Woodworking and has been in that position or that role for, uh, for several years. Great. So, so what are they going to help with? Okay. What the juniors? You want to talk about that? Too? So <laughs> we'll have kind of a welcome, and then the first breakout session will be like a half hour, so like 11.15 to 11.45. Um, we have like making the grades, so we have an alum from, um, he's a superintendent at Antwerp who will come, and, and they're all going to talk about um, like maybe their career path, advice mm -hmm. they have for, you know, students who are going to be graduating, mm -hmm. um, maybe things that they wish they knew, you know, be, when they were searching that they didn't know, um, maybe what they look for in a candidate, you know, like um, tips, mm -hmm. um, maybe, and like I said, just talking about their career path, just, just to help prepare the students as they begin their job mm -hmm. search, um, or graduate school, um, too. You know, some people are going to go into graduate school. So just kind of like, you know, what's next kind of thing for seniors. Can we say who the alums are, or is it a big sure. secret? Sure, sure, we can we can announce who they Let's are. Let's announce it. Yeah, um, we have Marty Miller, who I said was the superintendent at Antwerp. Um, Alicia Kalick, who everyone knows, a mm -hmm. uh, 2015 grad. Kenny. She Miller. used to work here, by the way. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. <laughs> Kenny Miller, um, he's a, a 17 grad. Nikki Arnold, um, she graduated in 2014. Scott Army, he graduated in 91, then also got his master's in 08. No relation. No, no, never heard of Scott before. Really? Um, oh, huh. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, Nicole Tank, she was a 16, 2016 grad. Did oh, six, it says. Is that? It's oh, supposed it's to be 16. It's supposed, oh, it's supposed to be 16. 16. Yeah. Okay, 16. sorry. 16. I shouldn't have brought it up. Sorry. Yes. That's okay. No, that's okay. Yes. And, and now then, she'll probably find out, and I'm going to be in trouble. Dang it, Ryan. We were not oh. going to talk about that typo. Yeah, I, I did it. I'll take Typos it are the worst. <laughs> they are. That one little number makes such a big difference. <laughs> there was it's somebody 10 in year this difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole decade. That would mean something yeah. to me. I mean, She's I'm just not going to be happy with us. No. She'll be happy at the thing, though. Oh, right. Right. Yeah. And then Martha. Martha Gabers, who is not an alum, but as Sally said, is uh, she's been at Sutter Woodworking for a long time. So after we have the breakout session one and then the breakout session two, and then we'll wrap up and have lunch and then kind of networking. And so really, it seems to be a very good opportunity for seniors. Mm -hmm. Right, absolutely. Um, it's only two hours of your time that you're going and talk to people. Well, well yeah, it's a good networking them. opportunity. Mm -hmm. You can learn a lot of tip, tips and tricks that you probably did not know before. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so if a senior wants to be a part of this, and they should. It, it, it should not even be an if, if you're a senior. You definitely should do this. It is going to help you in the future. Mm -hmm. um, where should they regis register? They can stop in our offices in okay. the Pilgrim Library, or they can email me, tarmy, T-A-R-M-E-Y, at defiance.edu, and just say, Tracy, I want to come to Senior Success Seminar, and I will write you down. And we must mention, if you do come to Senior Success 
success day, you get a leather pad folio that is great to take Ooh. when you interview or when mm -hmm. you go to graduate school. Nice. Yeah. So uh -huh. a leather pad folio yep. and Same. lunch in addition to to the, the wonderful things you're going to receive. That's so right. it just keeps right. getting better. I wish right. I could get that leather bath thing. Yeah, so how come you're not going? Well, we'll be in the field. We'll be on our way home from education, so from teaching. That's actually our last day. So, so it's equally important. For students mm -hmm. like us who have other things going on, is there like another option? Like, could we just come talk to you guys mm -hmm. maybe? Mm -hmm. and get you like should the rundown? anyway. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Get the rundown of Absolutely. the event. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Career Services does more than just this one event throughout yeah. the year. Tell them what else you Absolutely, guys do. but I want to mention one more thing. Oh, I thought we had it all run down. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> folks. We... One yeah. more thing. One, one more thing. Well, actually, three more things. Oh. So then we're having a sef second breakout session, and you're going to be able to choose two out of the three topics graduate and professional schools, one topic. Okay. Topic. Um, the uh, art of networking is a second topic. And then the third topic is uh, interviewing tips and tricks. Can you share one interviewing tip or trick with us right now? Yes, I can. Don't sit like this in your chair when you're interviewing. Sit up straight. And, and don't swir swivel don't your chair. Don't swivel, yeah. And put your feet on the ground and keep your hands in your lap. So to our audience members who are, who are watching, I'm like, wow, Liz and Jess look so much straighter today is <laughs> because before we hit record they're like hey sit with your feet on the floor and so they look like they're paying attention today congratulations oh, yeah. i have the worst posture ever yeah, my spine's kind of hurting already. <laughs> I, I drive like this my friends are like are you okay i'm like this is how i drive you drive like that can you even reach the pedals oh barely i'm like oh i gotta move my chair in a so, little bit well how do you text and drive and hit the pedals and hold the steering wheel like that excuse me my father watches i don't text and drive <laughs> anyway, so so they can choose between these two? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. they'll, they'll choose two out of the three. Um, so we'll go about 15 minutes, and then we'll uh, uh, flip-flop and go 15 more minutes with the second. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm, I'm going to assume a lot of seniors do not know the power of networking. Right, correct. And, right. and what that is. I mean, mm -hmm. do you two, in all seriousness, have any idea what it means to network? Yeah, I get to know people, that's all. And that's I, I will tell you, before my job this summer, I didn't realize how, how important it was. Because mm -hmm. yeah. sometimes it comes down to who, right. you Absolutely. know, not what you know. Mm -hmm. right. And a networking mm -hmm. event of this caliber can go a long ways to, towards getting you a job because you never know who they know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, that's right. And they'll keep you in mind. So right. very important to be there. It is all free. Mm -hmm. If you are a senior, you should be there. There are no excuses for I you not to be there unless you are out of an internship or whatever. You really should be here. Mm -hmm. Yes. What is the attire? To business casual kind mm -hmm. of? Mm -hmm. yes. yes. So if yes. I'm a man, should I wear a tie? That's Can up to you, but it's up to me. Business casual. But you don't don't show up in sweats right. and a ball cap. Right. Correct. Exactly. Okay. Correct. No yeah. ball caps. No, no ball caps. Haters so. gonna hate. Liz. <laughs> yeah. No ball caps. So okay, real quick, let's talk about what else the the career services office does during the year. Yeah. Can you mention a couple things like resumes? Yeah. Resumes. A lot of resumes. A lot of resumes. Mm -hmm. We review them. Uh, set up um, uh, appointments with students, freshman through senior. Um, now, uh, probably from this time forward, we're going to be meeting with a lot of seniors. Okay, like these two. Like these okay. two right here mm -hmm. um, to make sure they're all good to go with their resume and understand what services are available um, at this point, in, uh, especially with their career search coming up. Um, and uh, interviewing. We've been doing um, uh, several mock interviews with students. Okay and uh, working with um, different departments. We, we interviewed all of the students in five or six, five, five intro to human communication classes. Thank okay. you, Drs. Swanar, Snar, Swanar, Swanar, Swanar leader. sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and leaders. Um, so that was a lot of fun and it really planted the seed for those freshmen. Um, to know who we are and what, what services are available, along with the fact that they got a chance to do the mock interview. And internships? Um, internships, mm -hmm. absolutely. If you're a, a sophomore, uh, be thinking about what you're going to do, and you certainly could do it over your uh, summer of your sophomore, between your sophomore and junior year. 
uh, is one option during your junior year or in between your junior and senior year. Okay. So advising's coming up really soon. Talk with your advisor about that. Um, and then uh, head my direction because the sooner I know uh, what, what you're looking for, then I can start uh, working on trying to find you a site. Job so, search, uh, graduate job search. school. Don't you guys have something to do with the career fairs too? We do. Oh, we yeah. do. Those yeah. are a big oh, part nice. of yeah. Look everything. Nice. Very good. We, we have a fall career fair uh, that happened actually uh, earlier this month. And uh, we took a, a few students with us, uh, but we'll be hosting another career fair in the spring uh, in January. But it's spring actually, semester. Actually, in spring semester. <laughs> yeah. In January. Um, it will be held in Columbus. And then for Ooh. education <laughs> majors, they get their own special career fair. Ooh. Education oh. Expo. Education now there you Expo. Go. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. yeah, there you go. The um, Expo. End Expo. of March. Mm -hmm. Okay. March is that fair, and they'll get information about that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also are having an event come up uh, in about uh, a month uh, called Corporate Conversations for Allied Health Majors. It's a new event this year, and we're going to, again, invite in professionals out in the field in OT, PT, nice. personal training. Yeah. Um, uh, we uh, A little different twist to it. Perhaps somebody in pharmaceutical sales that was an exercise science major here but chose to go that direction. Um, who else was in that group, Miss Tracy? I don't remember. But it's just a nice way for students to talk with employers in kind of a non-threatening environment. It's just, it's just having a conversation and right. learning about their Absolutely. company. And they can ask questions and they give advice and those types of things. So um, we're going to try mm -hmm. to do that as specific to majors as we can. Right. You know? And everything right. that happens in the career services offices is, is free to students. Absolutely. Free to students and oh. alumni. It's free forever. It's free forever. Free forever. So wow. once alumni watching, if you still watch. Yes. Yes. So yeah, if exactly. I go to grad school and yes. in two years mm -hmm. I don't think my resume looks really, it's just, it's not cutting it. I can come back. Sure can. We'd love to see you, Jess. Mm -hmm. And get it checked out. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Can they do it over email? They don't need sure. to actually come in. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. So again, there is no reason not to take part in, in the service of career services. Um, you know, this is your chance. You, you are paying to be here, use this service, and parents, don't hesitate to get a hold of your senior and say, go to this event, it's very important, uh, and they have a number of services. So, we should we do the Silly Six? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. For Tracy, you can do it for Tracy, I've already done it. You have done it, probably more than once. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. But Tracy so, would love to do it. Tracy, oh, thank you. The, the, okay, the, sure. the Silly <laughs> Six is where I ask you six, ready. six quick questions and you give me Nervous. six quick answers. Okay. Are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> Your favorite pop or beverage? Diet Mountain Dew. Oh, that's specific. Ooh, that is okay. my favorite. Your favorite fast food? Uh, Taco Bell. Oh, yeah. 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 No, I Taco like Taco Bell. Bell. Oh. Are you excited about it opening up? I am excited. Yes. Ah, my bank account yes. is yes. too. Yes. Yeah. Your favorite uh, show? Favorite show, Young and the Restless. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I love uh, my soap opera. Do you so. take lunch during that? Or? No, I just set my DVR. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> wonderful my technology. At night. <laughs> uh, your favorite dessert? Anything chocolate. I anything chocolate. Anything. And pretty much anything chocolate. What's your favorite type of chocolate? Milk, chocolate, dark chocolate. Yeah. I really do. Really? Doesn't I am matter. A chocoholic. Chocolate yeah. makes her happy. Yeah. yeah. I'm a chocoholic. Okay. If well, I brought you a um, couple Hershey bars, maybe to Oh. Bring them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> are you a cat person or a dog oh, person? Oh, dog. 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 Cats Favorite? creep me out. They <laughs> creep you out. They're just yes. so creepy. They just stare at you and they just. Uh, I don't Maybe know. you've had bad cats. Well, that's what I life. think. Yeah. I have TPSD or something. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I show her pictures of my cat. And, I, and that's probably an okay, isn't it? I don't know. No, I don't she even doesn't like, like, like looking at, looking at them. Their, oh. eyes are, their eyes are something. So, so, eyes. Yeah. so cute cat videos for you are like, uh, hor like horror movies? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Really exactly. interesting. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, uh, your favorite dog name? Dog name Tucker. I think Tucker. Tucker. That's a good dog name. Yeah. Should I ask the six questions? Yeah. All right. Uh, is Costco a good third date? Think about it. Third Three date. So we're talking third. Third date. You can really see Don't if they can make something fun. The out answer of is no. By the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I. I 
third day? I don't know. Oh, yeah, see right there. Whatever. No, whatever. No. That's like the first no I would all fe- year. No, no I don't think third so. date. So your first two dates, you go typical date stuff, and then somebody's gonna come to your door. Who puts hey, let's something go to in the category no. of typical no. date no. stuff? That's the problem. Typical date no, stuff. No. no, typical date stuff. What movies? Then the next dinner. And hey, then, don't blame me no. because you haven't had good date. <laughs> <Or, laughs> <laughs> I guess you're right. I guess yeah, you're right. No to Costco for the third. Yeah, time. yes. No. See, finally. No. No. Finally. No. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for being on the show. Thank, thank you guys for you. having us. Again, Career Services is here for you. Be Take good. advantage of it. I don't think I can stress that enough. You can see if they're busy when you walk in the Pilgrim Library. If they are, you can wait by the window, make the person in, in front of you feel uncomfortable, <laughs> and you'll be in in no time. <laughs> Email them, set something up. I've used mm-hmm. it a few times. It's a really great thing to have have on campus. Liz, have you used it? Yeah, Tracy has my resume. See? Sometimes. Everybody's mm-hmm. using it. You sh- t- should take part in it as well. Come this has been it. the session with Jess. This has been the session with Liz. This has been the session with Ryan. See, See ya. ya.